burping is the act of searching for reptiles and amphibians in the wild. Herping may be done as a profession. Interesting. Or just for fun. There are many different ways to go herping, and I will be going over three of them in this video. The first of the three is road cruising. Oh, and I'm not the one driving in this video. Road cruising is looking for reptiles and amphibians on the road, usually at night. Reptiles and amphibians are on the road either because of the heat from the sun or because they need to cross to the other side for some reason. If it's hot during the day, the sun will heat up the roads, and if it suddenly gets cold at night, the roads will stay warm for a while. Because of this, snakes will oftentimes lie on the road at night, absorbing the leftover heat. One of the downsides to road cruising is when you find a DOR snake, which is dead on the road. This is a newborn northern water snake that got run over by a car. That is really, really disappointing. But if you ever go road cruising in a place with a lot of snakes, you're bound to find at least one DOR. The second herping strategy I would like to go over is just hiking through the habitat of the animal or animals that you are looking for. This could mean hiking on a trail, or off trail, or in a swamp, or next to a creek. This type of herping requires you to research the herp you want to find. You need to know things such as the habitat, preferred weather, and time of day when this animal is most active. For example, if you are looking for a bullfrog, it would be best to go searching in a small pond with lots of vegetation on a warm, damp night in June or July. The third and final herping strategy in this video is my personal favorite, flipping. As you may have guessed, flipping is just looking for herps, especially snakes, under things. There are some snakes that are hardly ever found out in the open, such as the eastern milk snake or the ringneck snake. There are many things that are flipped in search of snakes, including rocks and logs, as well as things that just appear to be trash, such as wooden boards, tires, and pieces of metal. Another herb that is often found undercover is salamanders. Unlike snakes, they tend to stay away from artificial cover and are often found under rocks and rotting logs. It is very unusual to see a salamander out in the open, unless it's very damp or because they're breeding. You may have noticed that the comments are turned off underneath my videos. If you have a question, or you would like to give me a tip or suggestion, just go to the discussion tab at the top of my channel. That'll be it for today's video, and I hope you enjoyed. I'm Micah. Subscribe, learn more, and go herping.